Why is the color of space black? According to a study, the space appears black because the universe is expanding. This expansion is causing the visible light emitted by the stars to stretch out so much that when it reaches our eyes, they cannot detect it. As our eyes cannot detect any visible light, the space appears black to us. Moreover, light has a specific speed limit. So, light from faraway stars has not even reached us. Thus, the space appears black. What is a supermoon? Simple. This is a supermoon. Oh, chum pum. Supermoon is a full or new moon that nearly coincides with perigee. Perigee is the moon's closest point to the Earth in its monthly orbit. This results in a moon which appears larger than its usual size when observed from Earth. The technical name for the same is perigee syzygy, as in roughly straight line configuration of Earth, Moon, and the Sun. The term supermoon is attributed to astrologer Richard Knoll. Out of the possible 12 or 13 full or new moons each year, usually three or four may be classified as supermoons. Hmm. How was the asteroid belt formed? No idea. But Chum Pum loves to jump on the asteroids. Oh, Chum Pum! About 4.5 billion years ago, our sun was formed from a huge cloud of gas and dust. Leftover cloud of gas and dust started spinning around the sun. These bits began to collide and stick together and slowly converted into planets. But still small bits of rocks were left over. These are called as asteroids. Most of these asteroids got pulled by Jupiter's huge gravitational pull and eventually formed an asteroid belt between Jupiter and Mars. Hmm. Why does Saturn have rings? Simple, because Chum Pum gifted it to huh? Saturn. Oh, Chum Pum! One theory suggests <laughs> that Saturn's rings are remnants of celestial bodies like a moon or a comet. Hmm. Billions of years ago, a celestial body may have got too close to Saturn. Hence, the side facing Saturn was pulled more strongly as compared to the side facing away. So, this inconsistent gravitational pull may have ripped apart the celestial body into pieces. Finally, these pieces might have started revolving around Saturn, thus forming its beautiful rings. Hmm. What if Earth was made of lava? Yuck! Chum Pum hates lava. Oh, Chum Pum! Firstly, if Earth was made of lava, even the sun may start running away from planet Earth. Secondly, if Earth was made of lava, our moon may start sweating profusely. Mm. Lastly, if Earth was made of lava, Earth's neighbors may start wearing fire suits. Mm. What if Earth was made of chocolate? No need. Chum Pum likes only lollipops. Oh, Chum Pum. Firstly, if Earth was made of chocolate, humans may completely eat up huh? planet Earth. Mm. Secondly, if Earth was made of chocolate, Earth may start melting away in sun's heat. Hmm. Lastly, if Earth was made of chocolate, planet Earth may get completely surrounded by flies and insects. Hmm. What if Earth was made of gold? Cool! Now Earth is Chum Pum's best friend! Oh, Chum Pum! Firstly, if Earth was made of gold, Aliens may start pulling planet Earth from both sides. Hmm. Secondly, if Earth was made of gold instead of with the sun, planets may start taking selfies with Earth now. Hmm. Lastly, if Earth was made of gold, all the humans will suddenly get very, very rich. Hmm. What if Earth became half sun? No ways. I just want my whole Earth. Oh, chum pum. Firstly, if Earth became half-sun, our original sun may leave the solar system. Hmm. Secondly, if Earth became half-sun, Earth's neighbors, as in Venus and Mars, may start wearing sunglasses. Hmm. Lastly, if Earth became half-sun, Earth's huh? precious satellites may start melting away. Hmm. What if Earth became triangular? No big deal! Even Chum Pum can get triangular. Oh, Chum Pum! Firstly, 
If Earth became triangular, all of Earth's skyscrapers might fall off its triangular slopes. Secondly, if Earth became triangular, humans standing on the edges of Earth may keep on wobbling. Lastly, if Earth became triangular, planets may start running away from Earth's sharp edges. Why doesn't Earth have Saturn-like rings? Simple, because only Chum Pum the King has those rings. Huh? Oh, Chum Pum. It's got to do with Roach Limit. It is the distance at which objects tend to be ripped apart by the planet's gravitational pull. Now, in case of Saturn, it is popularly believed that a celestial body like Moon or Comet got too close to it and exceeded the Roach Limit. Hence, it got ripped apart into pieces, thus forming its rings. Now, Earth also has a moon. But since it is beyond the Roach limit, it doesn't get ripped apart into pieces to form rings. Hmm. How was the moon formed? No idea. Let's ask the moon. Huh? Oh, chum-pum. According to the giant oh. impact theory, Theia, a Mars-sized body, collided with Earth. This collision threw chunks of Theia as well as chunks of Earth's crust into space. Now gravity bound these ejected chunks and led to the formation of our Moon. According to the co-formation theory, two similar-sized bodies collided twice, forming an early Earth surrounded by a disk of material that then combined to form the Moon. According to the capture theory, the moon was already formed. It was just snapped by the Earth's gravity while it was passing by. Hmm. Why is Mars red in color? Simple, because Chum Pum is also red in color. Oh, Chum Pum. Mars actually has many colors. On its surface, we can see many different colors like brown, gold, etc. Then why does Mars appear reddish? The simple reason is that the Martian rocks soil as well as dust, contain a lot of iron. This iron reacts with the atmospheric oxygen and forms iron oxide. Now, the huge dust storms on Mars kick the soil as well as the dust into the atmosphere. Thus, from a distance, Mars appears red in color. Hmm. What if Earth started dancing? No big deal. Huh? Can the Earth dance like this? Oh, chum pum. Firstly, if Earth started dancing, humans will not be able to stand still anymore. Hmm. Secondly, if Earth started dancing, Earth's skyscrapers might start breaking down. Hmm. Lastly, if Earth started dancing, Earth may start spilling its water on its neighbors. Hmm.